Mac and Mika live! It's our third week back. Yeah, especially um, like, you know, we're not even promoing it like that right now because we're trying to keep it light. So thank you. But next week's going to be a little busy because it's my birthday weekend. Yes, yes sir. Yes, we can low-key start that shit yes, like sir. tonight. Today. I'm starting today. It's wasting, they're wasting time now, like, at this point. But, um, yeah, yeah, cheers to that. So next weekend, I, we have people coming to town. Um. We have a, a guest we next weekend. We normally have guests all the time, but we kind of waited just a little bit to see how this Chanel, whole yeah. thing is. Yeah, like, here's Chanel. Yeah. A bunch of people's going to be in town yeah. back, um, um, next week, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. To help me celebrate. Our special guest, Anthony Tate. Yeah. Anthony. You might want to leave your man home for that one. You got, little, you got some fun that's coming up in there. Not that there ain't no fun for in here now, I'm just saying. <laughs> that's what she ain't seen before. <laughs> <laughs> they don't live here. They don't live here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, man, ain't gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, how was your week? You traveled, you went to Tulum. Huh, listen, Everybody in Tulum right now, y'all. Oh, Mika just got back. She left last Saturday after the podcast. And I then, my flight as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say what to do. Right as usual, I missed my flight. But then, got there, and I had the best Fridays ever. Ever, ever, it looked fun. Yeah. It looked relaxing. Hey, it looked fun. See, and I have more videos to post because my phone broke. You so was on Beagle a little bit there for the yeah, first two Beagle. days, baby. Yeah. yeah, so I was. And so, um, period, a few people, uh, I knew she was on there with me at the time. But, um, you know, it's nice to see you. Yes. Yeah, like, so you just crazy. got back. Yeah, I just got back. Yeah. Fixed my phone. Now I'm here. You know, yeah. we did a lot of shit. I was working out with Coach Weed, of course. And then, uh... Tennis. I had tennis this when week. So I got fake married out there too. You got fake married. No, I need a nigga somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> not, not like Brian, because you know, a couple of us felt like Brian was like the little guy. What happened? Like, is it Brian? Who's Brian? Is there like one Brian on the trip? How do you know that there's a Brian on the trip? Because y'all said his name on Pico. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people thought that too. Yeah, y'all look like y'all was a couple. That's a lot of people on the trip. They like my business, so that's my business partner. Saying his name too. Nah, I'm not. So he's on the list. I don't know what day, but he's 
Oh, he's like on the list, but then he won't stand by in case somebody can't sue them and call him too. Save a couple videos. Thank you very much. Um, so, all right. So, um, I think I seen the news. You seen the two sheriff deputies that got they're in critical condition after they got ambushed in Compton. Did y'all see that? Anybody seen that? I did. Right. You seen it, right? The two deputy sheriffs. The two deputy sheriffs. Yeah. They got ambushed, shot up, and they in critical condition now. They was in their cop car, and somebody just ran up and just shot their ass up, like, in the car. Yeah. while they was in their car. But I feel like a lot of that do come from, like, you know, probably all the, you know, the black people being killed and stuff like that. And two, you know, innocent cops, we don't know what their position is, like, far as yeah. races or not, but they got shot up in their car. See, so now you, you made a good point saying that it comes from of people being killed. And I can see that, but I didn't like how like Trump and those people try to come out and try to say the, the black lives matter people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but we're not sure if that's what it is. That. Yeah. That's like, yes, everybody's mad because they're killing us and not getting cars. Just like, right. you know, I see. Uh, I'm not sure if the person was black or not when he did it. I, well, I mean, I couldn't tell. In the I video, tell he was black, right? And I still couldn't right. tell. But, um, you know, I mean, we're upset. Like, there's settling civil suits like Breonna Taylor's family. But they still not. They still haven't arrested the officers. None of them. So how y'all feel about that? She got her family got twelve million um, for wrongful death, but the officers still not, aren't yes, arrested. So how y'all feel about that? Huh? Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like I, I feel like they feel like okay, let's give them twelve million, and maybe this whole thing will go away. I don't know. I don't, First of all, I don't think twelve million enough anyway. Even though you can't buy you like. They gave Admiral Lima mad way more money. They gave they gave a lot of people way more money. That yeah, they took it. Yeah, they took it. And, and I just look at when I look at that, I look at how when they did uh, Kaepernick when they did the settlement, you know, for the settlement with him, it's kind of like okay, let's give you this money so hush we can money. just stop all hush money. Yeah, basically like yeah, hush money. You can say like let's stop That's all this going on so we get back to our regular life and. At the end of the day, you know, with Kaepernick, that whole thing came back because of George Floyd and that knee was on his neck, you know what I'm saying? So it symbolized the knee that Kaepernick was taking. But with Breonna Taylor, I just hope her family does something to keep her legacy alive and keep awareness of, you know, what happened to her, you know, with their money. Charlemagne and uh, Angela Yee, and he talked about how he had a show that he tried to um, shop the BET, and they told him he wasn't black enough. What? Well, I mean, because, you know, DJ Envy's real, real light, and I guess he doesn't, you know, he's a little more articulate. I don't know what he, Racially I But a little more articulate, I still don't feel don't like, know. what that mean? Because, I mean, I know him from New York real well, so I can't, that's the only thing I can see them saying he's not black enough. He like racially he ambiguous. A black guy. BET being racist, y'all. Yeah, exactly. How much? What else do they want from him? You right. know what I'm saying? Full huh? black. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It means saying. a light skinned man. So, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I thought he was like manager at one point. Yeah, I mean, I know when I first met him way back in the days, I thought he was like too. He always, no, nah, man, my name is Rashawn. His name is Rashawn. He's from Queens. Oh, yeah. He's full black. So, yeah, he. That. That would bother me too, knowing that you're full black and you're trying to, you know, give business to a station that you right. feel represents you and everything you stand for, and they don't think you're black enough for them. Yeah. That would fuck my Another thing I seen out in the media was the big Smalls crown. You know, he took the picture with a crown on it, was a plastic crown at that, but it got auctioned off for 600k. That's a big notorious B.I.G. fan to pay 600k. That was you? 
Nah, I'm gonna finish, but shit. Seems like you can't. I know you got the ass. I thought it was you. If it was a plastic, nah, not a plastic one though. I know your birthday coming up. You might want that shit. Yeah, but not a plastic. So I just thought for sure. Then it wasn't me. Shit like that. Like six dollar crown, I mean six hundred k. I was like. I mean, I wouldn't be doing it. That gotta be one of the fans. That's somebody that just wanna say they have it. They might not even. They have something yeah. they worn or something. I don't yeah. know. You know, people do that with Michael Jackson and all that. Yeah, they do that with a lot of people. Like, um, lyrics. Like, was it two hundred yeah. lyrics or somebody? Like, three, four, three, they wrote on. Yeah. So what about um Nick Cannon finally willing to sit down with Eminem after all these years? So what actually happened? With the, you know, they've been beef. Well, right, like. What? I, I don't know if Mariah Carey has anything to do with that. Mariah, I was going to ask you if that was what it was. I don't know, but they have been decent for a minute. Anybody else know? Yeah, it's Mariah. Mariah. I know it's I know it's the only going to be for a little minute. Why? Because that's the only thing I can think about. Like, musically, they shouldn't be beefing. Like, why would they be beefing? I mean, Eminem hasn't even been giving him attention. Really? Yeah, something like that. Because financially, he can't have a brother, so I'm like, I'm going to have two sets. Like, that's the only thing. Eminem is a Libra, too, by the way, because Libra season is approaching. So I just wanted to let everybody know, shout out to Eminem because he's a Libra. So is Nick Cannon, so that's probably why they're going to oh, end up okay. talking and working it out. So two Libras, Nick Cannon and Eminem are Libras. Eminem really going to sit down with him? Eminem was like, I don't know. Like, it, was out there. it was put out there on Fat Joe's show. I saw it, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, Eminem was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. All right, so how y'all feel about this? Big, Big China said her biggest flex is that she take care of both her kids with no child support. That is a big flex. Man, that's, that's the bare minimum. Which one the bare minimum? Like, like, how should I say? Like, that's she should be doing that. Like, oh. doing that with no, no child, child support. support like, she don't. She shouldn't need like child no, support. Like, to, she know, like her as a mother should be. She should be doing that on her own. You know. No, that's yeah, a that's big flex. Like, oh man, who said that? That's a big flex. Who said that? That's what the, everyone's talking about. Ray J. Well, Prince is going to try to file for divorce, but then. And he talked her back in. Right? Back in. And then she had to find out, I don't know if you read it or not, she ended up yeah. finding out, like we found out on social media, that he now filed for divorce. Yeah, behind her back. And that's what she's Yeah, behind her yeah, back. Like so what was the first Say it again, I hear. No, I said they were supposed to be working it out. Right. The person you divorced is never the person you married. So, <laughs> is this. Say it again, I can't even know. I said the person you divorced is never the person you married. That's true. So that means that they're different people. By the time you divorce them, it's not the same. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Like, they're not that, dude, that woman anymore. You know what I mean? Because you, you always say, I was going to say, you always say. You know, they say they never going to break it hard. Never, that they you know, that. You never expect it. But do you feel like people grow apart in relationships? Because, I mean, I feel like everybody grows. Nobody well, stays the like same yeah. from who you but first met in a relationship. That's a little different, though. What you're saying is true. People can't grow apart. But what she's saying is very, very real and scary because being that you're not the same person, you're a vicious, you're an animal, you're, you're doing shit to you, like, grimy so, shit. So what do you think that happened to, to, to turn them to that? I don't um, think they should have got married in the first place. Did you watch something about it? I did. I don't think they should have got married in the first place. They probably should not. His mama knew she went right for him. The, yeah, the mom did. So, you know, that show's edited, so we don't get to see a small portion. So the mom kept saying it then, and like, I don't know, so it must be something that they might have. I mean, could have been a yeah, we, we, we don't know. But but I, I did have a, a, um, he pushed her in the pool on national television. <laughs> I remember that, he did. But she threw a drink in his eye, so he, he, pushed her, push. he pushed her over him. With yeah, the eyes closed. I, I know they're talking You shouldn't have got married. I left in the same order. I don't know. But they were saying, and I don't know how true this is, but one of my friends on this app was saying that, you know, he's on there, and he had did a whole thing with a um. I don't know how to roll it. I can roll it. Like, girls, you do kind of stuff. She came into the She came on the page. 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 She like, I'm surprised about that. Like, she seemed like she was going to He must still be cheating. Cardi is another Libra. We're free, though. Cardi is another Libra. We're free. Did she say that to that first one? 
Nah, yeah. she, and she was trying to keep it together, but after a while, I feel like when Libra's be like, you know what? But it's like, yeah, but if she didn't get married, she would have eventually seen his true colors, and she wouldn't have to marry him in the first place because he would show that he was a um, he was a repeat offender. Like he, he, he cheated. Man, I don't know yeah, what. Yeah, that's not because of that, but we don't. I don't know. I don't know that's what's going cool. on between Cardi. the two of them, Cardi, Cardi but their music is about to blow up. For sure, I know so that. She's not gonna tolerate that shit. You said the music about to blow up? Yeah. I don't know like what the situation between them is, is and why the divorce is happening. Most likely, I assume it to be cheating. He's continuing to cheat. So, But it's violence. weird to me that you drop a song called WAP and then like three weeks later you're getting divorced. What's yeah, foul? Yeah, why you got to bring that up? That's what happened. That's, that's the order. Like, oh, you mean the irony. Yeah, the irony. yeah right? You just drop like... He was fucking... He was fucking... He was fucking... He was so I didn't, when that song came out, I wasn't seeing this happen three weeks later. <laughs> Shit. She had put a video talking about that's how she got her ring. She don't cook, she don't clean, but this, this how she got her ring. But she is a good woman, but... I'm going to get, I'm gonna get, gonna get into that subject, too. Um, I'm going to get into that not cooking, not clean subject later on, too. Because apparently somebody said, anybody born after 1993. Yeah. So I'm gonna get on to that. Hold on, hold on. I think that's true. I think that's true. Yeah, no, no, but I don't know. I just didn't see it. Well, not a cook. She So how y'all feel about the um the government plans to ban TikTok and WeChat on Sunday? And I don't care. on TikTok. No, that's I ain't either. That's why I did. So if you're gonna hold that, my kids are mad. I'll tell you that. Though. I mean, <laughs> they claim it is for surveillance, you know, purposes. Right. You know. He knows it so. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that, you know, that this year they are moving, people are moving. Would you not? I mean, some people are like that. Oh, wow. This because I'm going to put this in. Peace to Mexico. Mexico. Right. Hey, a lot of people vacationing right now. You wouldn't? Right. Well, a lot of people vacationing right now. But you wouldn't have to wear something else. What that is? Not my jacket. Yeah, y'all ain't trying to be on TikTok. Yeah, nobody's on TikTok. Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Instagram. All right, so then before we go to commercial break, I have one more question. Do y'all watch Real Housewives of Atlanta, I guess? I don't want to let you go, my mom. I do. Nene Leaks. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We have a podcast going. Um, so Real Housewives of Atlanta, you have Nene Leaks not returning after 13 seasons. Is that a yay or a nay? Like, is it, nobody cares? Well, I, I love that. She needs to go. She, Why? She, Why do y'all say she needs to go? I like her. I like her. No, she don't. She's too she thinks she's bigger than the show. Like, she but that's the only thing. But I thought I thought when she started doing Glee and, like, stand-up comedy and all these other things, I thought she was going to leave the show then and, like, and go to, yeah, 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 that's what I thought she was going to do. But she said they gave her so much money, she came back. Like, she claimed it was giving her a million episodes, so she was like, they come. But why did that women start doing all these other shows, too? I thought she, a million episodes? That's what she, that's that show must be making a that's lot of money. Claim. Oh, no, that's, that's yeah, Bravo. Bravo got money. Oh. They definitely got money. Especially if they pay her back. Trump chain. They got money. Right. But that's what she was claiming. Um, she was like, you know, I'm not stepping on set. And they're just dating for less than, you know, a million episodes. Oh, okay. So that's why I believe. But I do believe. But I mean, at one point, she was on that show talking about how she cashed down the Trump checks. Yeah, he yeah, her. She was on the right. Like, so I, I don't know. Maybe she started getting million dollars later. She get paid per episode still, so that's why she's, she's the highest paid. Like that, you know? Yeah, she, is. she definitely was the highest I mean, paid. But quarters. I like her. I just definitely yeah. think that uh, you know, it's gonna be a little different. They're gonna try to find people to act crazy. But we're gonna take a five minute recess. Right. Five to ten minute <laughs> <laughs> recess. Then we got one we more got, topic yeah. left, and then we're done. Ladies, I need yes. I, I'm gonna tell y'all real quick. Y'all tell me. Friends, are they off limits? Not your friends, but somebody you used to talk to, their friends. Who are you? 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 We got two oh, topics left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how deep that was. Somebody move this man. Boom. Did Anna Reese give you the pep talk earlier? 
pray. Hit the, go hit the door. I was busy. I'm bro. My bad, my bad. All right, all right. All right, so we got two more topics. And I'll be back in next week. I got one to read that Trey Song said. He said, any female that was born after 1993 can't cook. Only those McDonald's charging their phone, twerking, bisexual, eat hot chips, and lie. Is there any truth to this? True. 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 Oh, okay, shit. Y'all all agree. Shit. Very true. So let's move on to the final subject. But I be lying too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but not, not in real life. Just in real life. <laughs> this is true. So, all right, the final subject, and we want the guy's opinion too. Okay, yeah. But Mika, Mika has that topic. This got crazy. Y'all tried to like attack us, us some of y'all, like at the commercial break. But um, oh and shout out to Toast Vodka and Repent Hangover of Cures, course. our favorite sponsors. Of Repent to be back um, after the COVID. <laughs> but we were asking, are your ex's friends off limits? But they want you to get the detail of. Period. You can tell me what is not okay. Yeah. So wait, so wait. Because some of y'all kept saying about like, but give me the detail yeah, of. I, yes, I guess how serious the relationship was. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. How close, how good of friends they were. Okay, let's say yeah. you, let's okay. say you you dated someone five years ago. Okay. Five years ago. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you dated someone five years ago. Yeah. Let's say you dated someone
And then it makes you think like, well, how long? I don't long? know how long they were separated. But then it makes you think how long did your best friend like your man right. at that oh, point? Yeah, yeah. you've been thinking about that. Yeah. How she and you know, girls like to talk about their situation with their dudes to, to their best friend. So now the best friend is kind of like getting enticed and want to inquire. So that's your best friend fault. <laughs> so now I heard Zach came over and tried to beat me up. He said he would kill somebody for messing with their well, he didn't say that. He said he got dumped though. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> But um, but yeah, now you're real quiet though. Okay. Okay. So basically, everybody's in the greens, like no best. So there's no, so there's no situation. Like I just showed you where it actually worked out, but there's no situation y'all think even here and that that you think that it could possibly. It could work. Yeah. I've done it. I've done it's it. possible. I, I've been in a situation like that, but they weren't really like friends. I thought they were friends. So I wouldn't date the other person, but then when I found out that they weren't really even like normal. Well, some people lie and act like, you know. That's what act like they want to Some people lie and act like they're closer to somebody just because they don't want you to date. Yeah. People will play their role. So that's different. They will play their role. Yeah. I've said she's trying to go talk to my ex before. I mean, and I can see that. I can see that. But then how? I feel like there's certain, you can only get so much out of somebody. What the, the, the. What you get out of somebody is totally different from what I get out of somebody. So he might be the one for you. He might be perfect. He might treat you better than how I treat you. You might be able to get more whatever out of him, more money, more time, more effort. You might, you feel me? You never know. Everybody pulls a different energy from somebody. That is true. true. I think about that. That's very true. So what are you saying, though? I said I don't mind. Because I've sent my friend to go do it. I'm like, yo. Oh, but you said her to go do it, so you kind of agree. Like, okay. well, I'll let him then. But she had a conversation with you then. I'm not here. But well, she had a conversation with you. I actually brought her up. <laughs> but what if, what if it was no conversation? And she it wasn't. Was I told her, I was like, yo, you, you kind of gave her your blessing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So but that's she different. Didn't, like, she didn't have her eye on him. It was like kind of like I kind of pushed her towards okay. that. No. Yeah. But I feel like that's different. If somebody gives their blessing that your best friend, you should talk to your best friend about it. And then it's like, yeah, I'm going to fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I might not have accepted that offer. You might not like, no, that's somebody that you that you fuck with, I'm not cool with that. And I'm like, all right, copy. But if it was in, if, in, if it was in reverse, like, I would reciprocate. But you know what I'm saying, though? Like, I might be, like, over somebody, be like, oh, I'm gonna fuck you, I love Exactly. So no. then it's like, then it's cool. Yeah, why? But what if there's no conversation? That's what we're trying to figure out. Like, ain't no conversation. But like, I know he ain't shit. Freezy, that's you? So, Freezy, we asked the question. Our last question of the night was, is it okay to, what does your it mean? Your ex's to? friends, are they off limits? Your ex's friends? Yeah. Are they off limits? Well, your friends are off limits to your ex. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I guess he's How long? How long? How long? That's it. That was my point. That's why I said. No. It's how long. You guys gotta look at it like this, I'm though. It's crazy. 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 It's
I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna ask the dude to go out to the. And the was like, hell no, fuck that shit. He was like, yo, you grimy for even saying some shit like that to me. Like, y'all both fucked up. And I was like, I didn't see that what you said to this nigga to make you feel like he could come at you. And, you know, when I was growing up, and I ran into a female that was like, you know, she was one of my homeboys we talked to, and, and, uh, and she told me, I was probably go back to my homeboys and say, hey, look, I messed up the such, you can fuck with. Right, a conversation. But yeah, conversation. I'm going to give him like right. that. Like that. Right. Uh, you knock it down, you do that. Because y'all not going to run with it. Right. And if you tell me, exactly. off limit, then you can slide. Right. <laughs> so what about this? I had a friend. We were, I, we're still friends, but we were really close about like seven years ago. She was dating this dude for like a year or two. And I was around for the relationship. She ended up getting pregnant from him, but she didn't keep the baby. And now, it's seven years forward, she got three other kids. She don't look at him. She not interested in him. But now he's trying to get with me. All right. in it. Right? All yeah, that's all right. All right. All right. You but how you feel, though? I, I told him. You like I said, him. You, 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 you like them. No, no. Wait, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. How you feel? I said, but how you feel? No, I told him. Because you ain't a little bit of confirmation.
shit. Right. But then all of a sudden, when yeah. motherfuckers want to go do their own thing, then it's like, no, what the fuck is you doing? So it's like, but some of these niggas that be thinking because they still mine. So, so let me. This question I have, I want to, I want to push past this now because y'all give me an answer. Because I got a real question that's actually just pertaining to me, right? And I want the ladies' opinion on this, uh, for real. I mean, guys, I'm sure y'all opinion. That's why. But um, and I only got like ten minutes to get it. But let's say you knew somebody. For years, like for years, ten years, right? You were you were in a relationship. I was married at the time, right? When I first met them, always thought they were cute. They always thought I was cute, whatever. But they they were also in a relationship. Wait, y'all listening real quick? The ladies are listening. Me in the back. Okay. Y'all listening? In the back. Oh no, no, she wasn't. Wait, wait. I said, let's say you met somebody, you know him for like eight, ten years, right? At the time, you were in something serious, like you were married, <laughs> and they were in something, right? You out of it. They're out of it, and yeah, kicking it, right? Well, not even kicking, it, but it, it's something there, right? This but chemistry. you know, yeah, this, this it's heavy. It's it's hot. It's fucking burning up like right now, right? But no, wait, listen, let's you get too far, bro. You get too far. Listen, the thing is, they don't really know my husband, my the ex, like right. that, and like not like that, just to, enough to go out here and there, right? And the same thing with their ex, right? But their ex might think that because I'm so nice, like, hi, when I see them. And my ex was a mean ass nigga, right? He's just never, like, you know, he's like, like yeah. yeah. So they might think that I'm friends, but I got that girl number, we don't speak. I mean, Do it. nothing, whatever, right? Yeah. 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 I, I, I was just thinking, I don't want them to think, like, yo, you don't know what she thinks. You don't know what she That's what I said! You know what That's what I said! I know a lot of people in the past. But that's I, yo. I was saying the same thing. I was like, how are we gonna look? I'm, I know I wouldn't look right like now. She can't say I'm right. All right, so now here goes another fact. Oh now. God. They have a mutual friend who doesn't want to be in the middle though, because now the mutual friend's going to feel. Okay, like, so the mutual friend is is my business partner. Well, I was away with my business partner. Then it's over. Yeah, let's not wait. No, 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 the, the well, ex, and her husband is the cousin of who? To, of, of the, of the, the guy. The dude? The guy. Okay. The guy. Okay. And now, so of course, all them years, they used to hang out, go out of town, visit them, and things like that. So she became cool with the girl. That's her I don't have nothing to do with you. But that's what the fuck okay. I said. I just want to add the element in too, though, just to, so they know. Uh, they don't have nothing to do with <laughs> That's what I don't really have nothing to do with the cousin. She let her know, like, listen, I don't I'm have nothing to do with I'm cool with both of y'all. That's what it is. But I think I feel like her business partner gonna feel like it looks like it's gonna look like she was part of it and do something. Even though it's not nothing. Well, I will say this. So I will say this. I've known this this dude for so long, right? Like before she actually was dating him, I was married at the time, and she wasn't even dating him yet, right? And I just seen him how he was growing. Like I was like, yo, this nigga cute, right? But he he in them streets, right? And so the girl, yeah, yeah. So I told the girl. The girl kept talking about this nigga what, the, um, after they broke up, because they're not together. They, they broke, and she kept talking about him, and we out we're at, after my gala um, last October, so this is how long they ain't been together, right? And she just kept talking about this nigga. We trying to have a good time, just talking with You talking to him at the time? And, no, uh-uh, oh. uh-uh. And so we all still just cool, right? And I was like, yo, that nigga ain't shit anyway, man. Fucking forget that. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. You, I you swear to God, I said, like, say, But she wasn't interacting with him at all that day. I wasn't interacting with him. I just know him. And I was like, yo, listen. You saying all this stuff about him, like, you know, like, he ain't give you a chance to be better or to do better. Just fuck him. Leave him alone. Right. Move on. Right. So now they're saying, like, you know now it looks like I was. So now she stumbled across the nigga. <laughs> And they have the chemistry. Y'all, it's a conversation that needs to be had. Your business partner needs to let, let the girl know, like, listen, I got nothing to do with that. And then if you ever run back into the wow. girl and y'all go wow. out, wow. you're like, listen, I'm kicking it with him. Wow. You feel me? Like, what just happened? Ain't got nothing to do with so, 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 fellas, how y'all feel about that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, I want to It's dangerous. It's dangerous to know that's how a female's mind works. <laughs> really? Niggas do it all the time. No, no. Y'all damn, y'all gotta stop blaming shit on niggas. Right. I do it all the time. <laughs> no. That's how y'all go. No. 
No, that's I'm right. not standing nowhere around that. That's a, see, that's my business partner. I don't want to be no part of that. She even told me. If me and this nigga get bread and get money together, and you finna fuck with my other nigga girl, and he right here, this nigga, listen, I ain't standing nowhere. That's not his girl. That wasn't the case, it's though. Ex. Thank you. 